probably get my HP a little bit higher than what it is now, especially with the leftovers. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do now. Just kind of roast stall until, uh, you know, him going for Shadow Ball is as unattractive as possible so that maybe I can U-turn back out to my uh, Clefable and set my rocks back up. So what I'm going to do now is Bullet Punch make. Um, but he actually predicts that and sends out his Starmie. So that was a good play on his part. He knew I wouldn't go for another roost after that. I could have. I probably should have, honestly. Um, but I was actually pretty scared of a special defense drop. So I figured it was time I started attacking, going on the offensive. Uh, but he makes a good play, switches out to a Starmie. But the thing about that is if he doesn't have HP fire, he's not killing me from where I am at all. So uh, you guys are going to see. He does do a lot of damage to me with a Life Orb Hydro Pump. But it's not enough, man. It's just its just not enough. I'm going to go for the U-turn. You're going to die. I'm going to send on Michael Fable and get my rocks up anyways. Your Rabbit Spinner's dead now. Let's go. Clean turn for me, people. Very clean turn. Uh, like I said, I U-turn out. I'm going to bring out Michael Fable. Michael Fable looks absolutely terrible on Citra and on this, uh, you know, this background or this lighting. I don't know what it is. They just made him look awful on here, man. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, but either way, um, he's going to go back out to his Gengar. Uh, he doesn't go for the Sludge Bomb because he knows very well that I could easily switch my Scizor in, but I'm not going to switch my Scizor in. I actually really, really, really want to save my Scizor for his Terrakion in case it comes out because that thing is definitely a threat. Uh, but what I'm going to do now, like I said, I'm going to get up my Rocks. He's going to go for another Shadow Ball. The Shadow Ball is not even a 2-hit KO on my Clefable, which is pretty clean because now I'm going to be able to go for the Flamethrower and actually um, do a big chunk of damage to him. <laughs> and the Curse Body actually activates. Uh, Gengar's new ability, which is far worse than Levitate, uh, but it's not really a big deal. Uh, so he's going to go for another Shadow Ball, take me out. So like I said, um, I wasn't quite sure what item this Gengar had at the time, um, considering the damage it was doing and um, the fact that he has no leftovers or life orb or anything like that. I was pretty sure it was Scarf. So what I'm going to do now is not go for the Hurricane. I'm going to go straight for the Rain Dance so that my Kingdra uh, will be able to outspeed him uh, after this turn here. Because if he is actually Scarfed, he's going to outspeed my Tornadoes regardless uh, whether the rain's up or not. So I just decided to get the rain up, like I said, uh, make things more safe. If he did turn out to be Scarfed, uh, my King Joe outspeed him no matter what. And I'll be able to kill him with a Surf. Uh, or if he does want to switch out, anything he switches into will also take a lot of damage from the Surf. So I do lose my Tornadoes, but he definitely did his job. He got up the rain. Prankster Rain Dance is clutch, my dudes. Anyways, King Joe's coming out. I definitely outspeed uh, unfortunately, his Cursed Body activates again, and my Surf is now disabled. Um, now, I'm not quite sure if that's why he went out to a Scizor. Maybe he didn't expect me to have two water moves, because I definitely have Hydro Pump, and I'm definitely going to click it right now. Um, he might not have expected me to have Hydro Pump and Surf, but I feel like that's been pretty common for like the longest time. So, we, ha we have a few choices here. Maybe he didn't think I had both moves. Maybe he was just expecting me to miss. Like, that's a very, that's a very valid option to choose right there. Like... And I can definitely just kill him with a Draco Meteor. But the thing about this is, I think his only win condition, I think his only choice here to have any chance winning the battle is to go for a double protect. Uh, hope that he outspeeds my Kingdra afterwards and then kill me with like a crunch after Mega Evolving. And of course, that's exactly what happened. Are you serious? <laughs> I was me with a crunch, man. Of course he gets the double protect. Of I mean, I hit the Hydra Pump, so I maybe it's fair that he gets the double. No, I'm just kidding. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, after Stealth Rock. So what I have to do here is bring out my Nidal King so that the rain ends on this turn. Because there's only one more turn of rain the thing tells you on the screen. So I saw that. I was like, alright. So I'm going to send out my Nidal King. The rain's going to stop. I'm going to send out my Kabutops so that he has to use Crunch. And actually, Crunch and Waterfall did the same amount of damage. But the thing about Waterfall is that it flinches. So I wanted him to use Crunch. I didn't want him to even have the choice to use Waterfall. And I live with 3 HP. Yes! Let's go! Yes! Let's go! Yes! 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 Let's go! Yes! Woo! Yes! Yes! Woo! <laughs> and I'm able to kill him with a Continental Crush Z move that I was packing on this thing the whole time. And I was just so happy about it because I thought the battle was over. I thought it was done. I thought it was done. I really thought it was done because of the double protect. Uh, but I was able to live. I really am glad that I um, sent out my Nidoking King first to die because I did not want to take a waterfall and get flinched potentially. Um, that was just, it was just so good, man. It was just so good. <laughs> so what I did just now, I went for the Aqua Jet and then um, he's going to go strong enough to take him out because of the Technician, even though I have no 